Hi everybody, welcome to another episode. This is the first episode in the Cinematic Strings tutorial series. Today we're going to talk about how to get a nice and smooth transition between the chords in a chord progression. So uh, let's uh, take a simple progression and see how we can make it sound more smooth. Let's go! Okay, so in this uh, sample I'm using the Cinematic Strings full ensemble patch, because uh, what's a cinematic strings tutorial without some cinematic epic strings? It's uh, one of my favorite uh, all-round uh, string packages. It's uh, very easy to mock up your tracks with this, uh, with this uh, sample package. Okay, so if you take a chord progression, we can take a C-sharp uh, minor 7th going into an A9 maybe, and uh, to uh, E9 and to a B sus4 to a B. If we take uh, that chord progression and see how we can transition all the notes between the chords. In the C minor 7th we have the C sharp, we have the E, we have the G sharp and the B. That's our C sharp minor 7th and then we have the A which is uh, A, C sharp, E, and we can also add a B, so we have a 9 chord. And back to maybe E9, E, G sharp, B, and the F sharp. And to a B which is B, D sharp, and F sharp. And we can also add a 9 or do a sus. And do a sus chord out of this. Let's just move these to the correct positions. Like this. And uh, we could uh, add the chords like this and call it a day, but uh, I think we need to do something with this uh, chord arrangement to get them to sound smooth. And what we can do here is uh, really look between these chords if we have uh, similar notes, and we can move them to the to a position nearby. So let's say this uh, this E. Do we have an E in the A chord after? Yes, we have a the E up here. So let's move uh, this E from the C sharp uh, one octave up and you do that in Bitwig by holding shift and the uh, arrow keys and then then you can move the the notes by uh, an octave and do we have a C sharp in the next chord yeah we have a C sharp here so let's move that down an octave, now we have a lot smoother transition between, between these two chords. Okay, now let's look at the transition between this, uh, this A9, A add 9 to the E add 9. Do we have some E in the, yeah of course, let's move that up an octave. And let's see if we have uh, something close to the C sharp. We have a B here. If we move that down. Or we could move the G sharp down. To get a good spread. It's often in cinematic uh, orchestration. It's very good to have a good spread between your notes. So it's easier to read the different, uh, uh, the different notes within the chord. And maybe we move this uh, in the last B chord. We can move the the E 
to the sharp, which is the, the sus4 into the third. So now we have a, a more smooth transition between these uh, chord notes. Now when we're happy with this, uh, with the transition between the chords, we can add some bass. So let's add that uh, C sharp for the for the root note. And then we have the A. And then we should have an E. And the B. We can also dub that up an octave below, so that we have a more, more depth. We could leave the chord progression like that, but we want some kind of dynamic to happen, because strings are often uh, played by swelling a little bit, and then it's, uh, it's like waves. So let's add some modulation. So we do that by opening the modulation lane. We can expand the view a little bit and maybe do some a little volume expression ride like this maybe. And if we set that into a loop, we can listen and hear how that sounds. Yeah, that sounds kind of nice. And uh, then what I often do is uh, when I'm doing a cinematic orchestration, I copy this part to a sub patch. And then I enter the chord and just uh, remove all the top notes. So I only have the, these uh, bass notes left. And then you create a sub patch. You can do that uh, by using the polysynth and just uh, dragging down the filter. So you have a. So you have a very bassy patch. And now I think we need to transpose this down. You can add a spectrogram, a spectrum analyzer to see where it is. Uh, let's see, spectrum analyzer. There we have it. Yeah, it's around 60 hertz for the for the C sharp. And that's good for sub bass. And now we can listen to this uh, both first without the sub bass and then with the sub bass. And then with the sub bass. We can also do some uh, automation on the volume for this uh, sub bass and follow the and follow the, the curve of the strings so that the bass will swell with the with the strings. Okay, so let's see, like this maybe. Yeah, so that's how you do note leading between the the chords within a chord progression. Let's listen to a, a sample here where I've followed these uh, principles.
Yeah, so that's how you structure your notes uh, between uh, the chords in the progression to get a smooth uh, transition and a nice uh, flow in your songs. I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful and uh, please uh, comment and uh, if you're new here, please subscribe and press the bell icon. You can uh, check out my previous uh, videos. They should be up here somewhere. Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye.